So, you want to hear a clever intro here? Hey guys, welcome back to That's My Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.8, uh, 2A, yeah, something like that. Um, just pretend I had a, a clever intro right there, but I, I didn't, so I guess this is kind of a clever intro, but at the same time it's not, so, yeah, alright, we're just gonna ignore that, alright. Um, I made a new intro thing because the intro that we've had is kind of old now. It's a little outdated. I want to change some things about it. So I made a new one, and this is pretty much what it is right here. So if I hit play, you see the logo kind of spins in. Those come in. Uh, really cool stuff, and it kind of zooms out a little bit and wipes away, which is really, really cool. Really cool. I really enjoy this one quite a bit. And, of course, this is all in transparent background here. Very cool stuff. Really like it a lot. Um, so this is just super simple. I didn't do too much. I'm going to break it down for you real quick. Um, I have three different images here. Um, so what I have is the, let me just put that on real quick, the T, which I've separated out. So I have this right here, which rotates on frame zero. It's rotated like this, and then it kind of just spins around until it gets there, and then just smooths itself out all the way to 100 until it's completely flush and rotated properly. And then I have two other images here, which is which is the left and right panels for the arrows, which is super cool. And I'll show you, I did this really big thing to, to kind of fix this up here. So if I go out of edit mode, uh, if I go out of, out of render viewport, sorry, um, you can see here that I have a bunch of planes, which is which is nice, but also kind of devastating at the same time. Um, so what I have is three, sorry, yeah, three. I have three black planes, which are holdout shaders. So if I go to the material tab, you can see these are the holdout material right here, holdout. And what these are doing is it's blocking uh, these big lines from coming in and out of the shot here. So what I did was I had these these arrows that I have on the Touch by Kai logo right there. And then I just went to the modifiers tab, added an array modifier of 10, made the count 10, and I made the this value right here 1, the Y 1, and, and both of these 0. So that then it goes up and down straight. Uh, same thing for this one uh, right here as well. Same exact thing. Uh, and then I just moved this one down. So I just hit, uh, moved, hit GZ to move it down insert some keyframes using the I key um, once I have it where I want it and then in this one I just moved it up same thing um, and I just kind of did some smoothing so right here both of them are kind of right in this area then on frame 100 they both moved up a little bit and then all over here on frame 200 they're they're moved even more like just a little bit just to smooth it out a little bit so uh, we have something looks like this which is super cool they come in and then after that all I did was I took the camera, camera mode here, um, and I did some orthograph, ortho, ortho, orthographic, orthographical, orthographical. That's what I'm gonna say. Did some orthographical stuff here. So on the first frame, uh, so it's 6.2. Then on frame 20, it's on three. Then on frame 50, it's on uh, 2.7. Then back here, it goes all the way to 3.2 again. So just a little bit of animation just to keep this moving a little bit. Um, and th these are planes, like I said, these these black planes, you just hit uh, shift A, add in a plane, and then just make them, you know, the holdout uh, material. Also, you've got to make sure here in the main tab that you have color management set to standard instead of filmic. And make sure uh, under the film category, transparent is checked, or else when you try and render it, it's going to look like that, which is not what I want. So, sweet. Um, I got all that taken care of. What, what did I do? Uh, this little thing right here. We don't need this lamp, so I can get rid of that. This thing right here, which is how the scene opens and ends. You can see oh, pretty much what this is. It's just a little, little um, kind of wipe swipe thing to uh, open and close the scene. So I just had it start covering up the intro, the logo, sorry. Then on frame 20. I moved it all the way down here, getting rid of all of it on top of the logo. Then the same thing over here. I just waited until it got to the end and duplicated it and then just flipped these. So I put the, the second frame right here, then this frame right here by hitting Shift D to duplicate them. So you can dupl duplicate frames by hitting Shift D. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that now it just goes the opposite way around. So it just covers it up instead of doing that. So now it perfectly loops um, when you play it back. So... Really cool stuff. 
that is literally all I did. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. Nothing else really is going on with this one. That is it. Super cool. I know. It's crazy. It's just, it's wow. Anyway, um, that's it for today's video. The really quick, uh, breakdown of the the new intro on the channel um stay safe out there guys there's a lot of crazy stuff going on um by the way just real quick um if i don't answer you guys' comments super fast it's because i'm not ignoring you i promise uh there's just so many comments it's insane now so it takes me a little bit longer to get through them all um but yeah i'm not ignoring you i promise you um but there's just so many comments it takes me a while so so yeah i just want to say that stay safe stay inside stay stay lovely I'll see you guys and girls in the next episode. I'll see you then. Um, but until then, bye-bye.